this is our video number second on uh, direct material procurement cycle in SAP. In our previous part, in, in our first video, we already created a purchase requisition. So in this part, we are going to create a purchase order with the transaction code, which is ME21N, with the reference to the purchase requisition, which we created earlier. So whenever you are creating a purchase order in SAP, the document type is NB, and the item category we're going to select, which is blank, which is for the standard purchase order. The most important thing you guys need to remember that if you created a purchase requisition and in the purchase requisition you didn't assign the source list, the source determination list, then in the purchase order you need to enter the vendor, the price, the fee of quantity manually. But if you assign the source list in the purchase requisition, then it will appear automatically in our purchase order. And to change the purchase order, we have the transaction code which is ME22N. So now how to create a purchase order with our uh, with the reference of, uh, of our purchase requisition in SAP now. So we need to go into the logistics. We need to go in logistics. In logistics, we have materials management. In materials management, we have purchasing. In purchasing, we have purchase order. In purchase order, we need to create, and there we have the first option is ME21N, which is a transaction code, which is a short key to create a purchase order in SAP. So you can double click or you can press enter. So when you press enter, this window will open. So we need to click on this variant icon here. Click and select the purchase requisition here. Okay, and this is our purchase requisition number. So you can search the purchase requisition number by purchasing group, by purchasing organization. You can search it by material number. You can search it by the plant also. So I'm going to search it by the purchasing organization. So our purchasing organization is MT12. Press enter. So when you press enter, it will give us the list of all the purchase, uh, purchase requisition which we created. So our one is, that is, uh, 3723 the last time which we created enter and execute so when you execute it will give us the purchase requisition number on the left side and here you can drop down this option so here it shows right now 10 and 20 which shows that we have two items because in our purchase requisition we ordered two different items uh, plastic sheet and aluminium sheet so you need to select this purchase organization number and drop this one into this basket. So when you drop this one into the basket, it will automatically catch the information it, uh, from the reference of our this purchase organization. So this is our header information. If you scroll it up, so we have two items. Uh, we ordered this material 1548 which is plastic sheet and aluminium sheet the pure quantity is 1500 it automatically takes the delivery date the net price is 150 for the plastic sheet and 250 for the aluminium sheet so if you check the item details here one by one so right now we uh, it is plastic sheet is selected so you can switch between multiple items here so that is a plastic sheet so go into the master data. So in master data, that is a, a material group. Go into the quantities here. It will show us the quantity. That is the delivery schedule. You can check the delivery. You can check that invoice also. The most important thing you need to check that is the conditions here. This condition record are, we created in the purchase info record. So if you click here, you can see for the plastic we have a gross price is 150 dirham the freight value the freight we are uh, the, the, uh, the, the supplier is charging that is 25 dirham there is no cash discount so that actual price is this much if you check the same for the aluminium sheet we don't have the freight charges here but if you want to add the freight charges you can add the freight charges from here okay and that is a text 
that uh, we enter this tag in the material master and that is a delivery address. So the last step is now I want to save the purchase order because all that information is uh, already there. All the, uh, that information which I need to select for my purchase order, it is already there in the purchase order. So I want to check this one. So click this option, click this icon to check. And when you click on this check, it will give us a message in green, in green color at the bottom that no messages issued during the check. So our purchase order is okay. So now I need to save it, Control S to save, or you can click this icon to save or post the, uh, this purchase order. So this is how we are creating a purchase order in SAP. And once this purchase order is saved, our purchase order number will appear here at, in the, uh, at the bottom. So our purchase order is created and the number is 45,017,250. That is our purchase order number. Okay, so after the creation of the purchase order, the next step is that uh, we want to see the stock overview report. So that the short key is, the transaction code is double M B E. So how to check this report now? We need to go in logistics. In logistics, we have materials management. In materials management, we have material master. In materials master, in material master, we have this other. In other, we have first option that is double MBE, which is stock overview. So press enter. So you can check, uh, you can enter your material. So let's suppose I'm gonna enter 1557, which is aluminum sheet for the plant MD12 and then execute. So when you execute, it will open this report. And here you can see that is the on order stock. So these are the uh, on order stock uh, for this item for aluminum sheet. So if you press, uh, if you click here and click on this environment and the top uh, and on the top and click this open purchase orders. So it will give us the list of all the open purchase orders. So we ordered uh, this aluminum sheet, uh, which is uh, 500 pieces. So that is our purchase order detail. So this is how you can check the overall, the stock overview report for individual item in SAP.